Welcome back to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast, the podcast that explores the festive world of Doctor Who collecting, those who collect it, and all kinds of Doctor Who merchandise, and sometimes just Doctor Who in general. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, Brought to you in part by Bags Unlimited Incorporated and Forbidden Planet. We thank our sponsors. I am Larry Van Mersbergen, your host, and I've been a Doctor Who collector now for 41 years, going on to 42 years very soon. Uh, Welcome to our annual Christmas slash holiday episode. I want to make sure that I include all of our listeners, so um, it's no longer going to be a Christmas episode, it's going to be a holiday episode, because not everyone celebrates Christmas. Those who do, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, a Merry Kwanzaa, and whatever other holiday or special event you celebrate, we're not advocating one over another. We want everybody to feel welcome here at the podcast. All people are welcome into the world of Doctor Who. So I opened, of course, the first Doctor Who store in Chicago that exclusively served Doctor Who fans. It was back in 1984. It was probably one of the silliest and stupidest ideas I ever had uh, at the age of 15, sitting in my parents' house in my bedroom one night with a ton of Doctor Who stuff saying, I think I'll open a store. Well, I did. And I called it Bundles from Britain. And I eventually made it into a legitimate business within a year, and we were a dealer at TARDIS 22 in 1985. It was very exciting. Um, Not much mentioned about us in the history books, except for a little mention in a book called Red, White, and Who, the Story of Doctor Who in America. Uh, Bundles from Britain, of course, lives on page 384. This book is available anywhere you find your your books, but you can find a convenient link to buy this book on the front page of our website at DoctorWhoCollectors.com. We don't get any money on it. I want all of my friends who authored this book to benefit from that. So I just want all collectors to have one. There's one within arm's reach of me right now. I always refer to it. It's a great book. Definitely that. We are part of the Direction Point Doctor Who Podcast Network. You should explore directionpoint.org and find all of the favorite podcasts that are out there. And it's really exciting to be part of a great network of Doctor Who um, passionate podcasters who really love what they do and put out amazing content. So you should check them out. Uh, If you happen to be a podcaster of Doctor Who listening to this going, how do I join this network? Just go to directionpoint.org and click join. There is no cost. There is no catch. All you have to do is uh, do a 30-second trailer for the partner podcast. You basically set up a template. You talk about your podcast for 25 seconds. In the last five seconds, you say, you're listening to, and then insert the podcast that you're advertising on. And That way, my listeners become your listeners. It's a great way to do it, and it's a wonderful opportunity. Uh, Some of the great podcasts in our network include Time Streams, Police Box in a Junkyard, the Doctor Who Target Book Club podcast, Traveling the Vortex, the Old Doctor Who Show, Doctor Who Literature, and Time Ram. So, really exciting stuff. Um... And speaking of links, of course, I always bring up two links that every collector needs to have handy, probably on their, I don't know if anybody uses bookmarks anymore on on, uh, browsers, but uh, you need to have timelash.com and underneath that, the TARDIS library. You can set up a free account to keep track of your Doctor Who media items. That's books, films, videotapes, audio cassettes, vinyl records, and that can all be found there. If you have something that's missing from the site, just email Dan O'Malley, contact him directly from the site, and he will add it to the site. He adds new items every single day, and he does it for free. If you need to find something that is unusual or not in the category that the TARDIS library covers, then you need to go to Howe's Transcendental Toy Box. Of course, that's David J. Howe, our good friend, at DoctorWhoToyBox.co.uk. David J. Howe is a great friend and resource if you're looking for things uh, that are really unusual or have a question that you need to answer. 
That's a great place to do it. And of course, if you're looking for great Doctor Who items at great prices, look no further than DoctorWhoStore.com. It's the name of the shop. And it's owned, of course, by Alien Entertainment, and they have everything you need. They're currently running a lot of sales on various items. And, of course, if you live in the city of Chicago or the west suburbs, you can visit one of two locations for Alien Entertainment. They have one in downtown Lombard and one in Logan Square on Milwaukee Avenue. For locations and store hours, visit AlienEntertainment.com. You can even order online from DoctorWhoStore.com and select Pick Up in Store, and I believe you can pick up at either location. I don't know if that's set up yet, but I believe that's the plan. You can also find some great Doctor Who items right at our website at DoctorWhoCollectors.com by selecting our merchandise links, and we have items from Forbidden Planet directly available. You pay Forbidden Planet, and they pay us. It's a great deal. You get the same price, no increases, no no bumps, no commissions. Um, we just get a small percentage of the, of the proceeds if you buy it through us. You can go to them, of course, but why go to them when you can go to us? It's a great thing. And don't forget, we own and operate an eBay store where we have lots of Target books and some hardcover books that are for sale that are duplicates from the collection. I'm trying to thin things out a bit. Uh, I don't need seven copies of the Horns of Nymon, but maybe you could use one. And uh, we try to keep the prices reasonable. We don't want to end up on my own podcast feature of the most outrageous offer. So we put it out there so that collectors, I want collectors to have this stuff. I want it to go to a good home. I'm not looking to get rich off of something. And that's unfortunate out there that people choose that over helping Doctor Who fans. Uh, and of course, in addition to all the podcasts on our website, we have the complete guide to Doctor Who classic hardcover books. And it's getting more and more complete by the day with, uh, of course, values that we're taking from sold prices, averaging those together to find a, a, a pretty good listing. If you're looking to list a Doctor Who item or if you've got stuff you're selling and you want to know where to put the price at, that's what we're trying to do for you. Uh, pretty soon we will have print run information and other information on that, plus a link to open up to a different page where you can look at things in more detail. So that's coming soon this year. Um, Chicago TARDIS 2023 is set for next November 2023, Thanksgiving weekend. Join us for the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who with that best convention that we do in the Midwest. Of course, many guests will be there. They are not letting anything out of the bag yet, but... If you go to ChicagoTardis.com and select uh, be on the email list, you will be notified as soon as those things happen. What's happening with me? Well, I am confirmed, confirmed to be a guest at Consinity 2023. That's on Saturday, April 22nd from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. at Dirks Hall at the Milwaukee School of Engineering University. And I will be presenting Doctor Who Collecting, the Collector Showcase again, and as well as possibly participating in other Doctor Who panels. Uh, my special thanks to my good friend Nick Seidler for the invitation. We really appreciate that. Uh, what's new in the collection? Not a lot this month, but I did get a copy of Doctor Who Magazine issue 578. That's with Shudi Gatwa on the cover. I have seen that issue go for as high as $1,000 on eBay. I paid cover price. You can still find it for cover price out there. Uh, don't, pr don't pay that outrageous price. It's really not worth it. Uh, also, I got a book in called Doctor Who and the Daleks, the official story of the films by John Walsh. Uh, it's a wonderful book going in-depth into the Peter Cushing movies. You should have a copy. It is currently available only through Amazon.co.uk, but remember what I've said in the past. If you have an Amazon account in the United States, just go to the British site and log in using your existing credentials. You might have to re-add your payment method, but it's the same site, and they will ship it to the United States, and they did it relatively quickly. They had it to me within three days using DHL at no additional cost. Well, beautiful thing. I'll be talking with John Walsh about this book in the new year. So that is all. Stay tuned, of course, for all my new acquisitions and finds as I uh, increase the collection slowly, and uh, we'll get to more of that in future episodes. And of course, I love talking to collectors. Collecting stories is what this is all about. So if you want to share your story with me, why don't you guest host? I'll give you the microphone or I'll interview you, whatever you prefer. You can contact me at DoctorWhoCollectorsPodcast at gmail.com. And I will get back to you. On today's show, it's my annual suggestion for gifts for the casual Doctor Who fan, brought to you in part by Amazon.com. Uh, and instead of the most outrageous offer, I have for you today the most unbelievable offer that was shared with me by my good friend Jonathan Ruffle. So 
uh, you'll have to you'll have to hear that. And believe me, I was I was surprised and actually a little jealous. I didn't get to it first. Um, I want to thank our patrons, of course, if you want to see exclusive material from this podcast, including videos that we do or our podcast recordings that are done specifically for our subscribers or specific topics that are covered um, outside the realm of what we do here. You can go visit us on our Patreon page, and that's patreon.com backslash Dr. Who Collectors Podcast, all one word. And if you'd like to support us there, you can. If uh, $15 and above gets you into all the content. And uh, we we thank you for that. If you want to support us uh, in other ways, you can go to Podbean at DrWhoCollectors.Podbean.com. That's one of our premium podcast uh, channels. And you can become a patron by just clicking the button and supporting us at any amount you feel comfortable with. We are in the final stages of raising money to bring Doctor Who legend Peter Purvis, who played Stephen Taylor with the first Doctor, to our podcast. Uh, We have almost reached our goal of $271, and that's all his agent is asking for. So your sponsorship will get a lot of reach here since he will be the highest ranking guest on the program. Just go to DoctorWhoCollectors.com, click Donate, and make sure you enter Peter Purvis on the message list. If we exceed our goal, we plan to give the extra money to Peter as an honorarium if he will accept it. Our theme song is Who's Doctor Who, composed by Barry Mason and Les Reed, performed by the great Fraser Hines, who played Jamie McCurvin with the second Doctor, and you can also see him in a wonderful Christmas movie called Lost at Christmas. It came out two years ago. should be available on most streaming channels. Um, also, uh, just uh, one of those things about this song is that Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin plays lead guitar. So when you hear that guitar solo, it is an expert playing that. Oh, I'm just, it gives me chills every time I see that. Um, you can hear this podcast, of course, anywhere you get your podcasts, including YouTube, Audible, Odyssey, Amazon Music, Feedspot, iHeartRadio, and Podbean, and mostly wherever you can find podcasts. I just realized that Feedspot, in the best 90 Doctor Who podcasts, we currently rank 38, which is pretty good. I'd say, you know, I'd take that. Uh, Many of the Direction Point podcasts are ranking as well, including uh, Traveling the Vortex and Time Ram. They are ranking in there as well. So uh, I'm really pleased to be in uh, in that ranking, and it's a wonderful thing. Um, we are, of course, uh, you can also find us at directionpoint.org with a lot of the other podcasts I mentioned earlier. After our brief break here, we will have, of course, our main story, our gift guide for the casual Doctor Who fan, and the most unbelievable offer. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Rupert Booth. I am known as Paul Ferry. And my name is Barry Williams. Together, we host Time Ram. Time Ram's a cruel mistress. It's a random number generator. That also. We roll a number from 1 to 30, and that's our doctor. Then 1 to 300 for the story, and then we ram them together. Even if it doesn't make sense. Cruel, I tell you. Time round. Putting the wrong doctors in the wrong stories, so you don't have to. You're listening to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. We are going on a journey, a very long journey, through the world of the Target novelizations in publication order. Every week we are looking at a new book, talking about Terrace Dix, Malcolm Hulk, and all our Doctor Who novelization friends. Whatever you do, keep turning the pages. This is Jason Miller of the Doctor Who Literature Podcast, a member of the Direction Point Podcast Network, and you are listening to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. Keep collecting. Are you ready to travel through time with us? Then check out Traveling the Vortex, a Doctor Who podcast. For nearly seven years and more than 500 episodes, we've traveled from one end of the vortex to the other, making different stops with different doctors, reviewing everything from TV stories to audio plays, from books to comics, and more. Sean, Keith, and Glenn take you on a journey through 50-plus years of Doctor Who episodes and spinoff materials. You can find us wherever you get your podcasts, so be sure to check us out. And now, we're a proud member of Direction Point, a Doctor Who podcast network. You're listening to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. Keep collecting. These are Christmas hats. I've seen people use them. You put them on, and absolutely anything seems funny. Oh, probably won't work on you. Probably not. You want to try? 
Go on, then. And now it's time for our main story, uh, Holiday Gift Ideas, brought to you by Amazon.com. And uh, I'm happy to promote these for the casual fan. This is for the casual fan. If you're planning to buy a Doctor Who gift for a Doctor Who collector of any type, beginning, advanced, uh, and myself included in that, you know, ask them first because you don't want to give them something they already have or they might be picky about the condition or whatever things like that so that's where gift cards are really helpful <laughs> so these are doctor who items for the gift for the casual fans all of these items are available on amazon.com i am not going to give prices this year because those prices fluctuate day to day uh depending on their algorithm but uh, we're going to start, of course, with uh, a very nicely sponsored um, item here. I will have the link to the, these items on the description of this podcast. So there we go. We start with the Hallmark Keepsake Christmas Ornament. That's Doctor Who and the Tenth Doctor. It's a wonderful um, depiction of David Tennant, the current Doctor, I should say, the Tenth and Fourteenth Doctor. They need to update that. Uh, and by the way, most of these things you can get before Christmas. Uh, just look underneath the uh, the listing, you know, where it says arrives before Christmas, especially if it's Prime, if you have a Prime membership, and uh, you can you can get this stuff in time for that. Uh, so there you go. The, the keepsake uh, ornament of, of the of David Tennant, basically the tenth and fourteenth Doctor. Um, we also have uh, the Doctor Who Bad Wolf TARDIS wireless Bluetooth speaker. Plays music, lights up, has sound effects. Um, works with your phone and Bluetooth. It's a TARDIS with Bad Wolf spray painted on the side. Um, very, very nice here. We can also get you some Doctor Who crew socks. There's a three pair pack, which has the TARDIS and Oh Brilliant and one, and, uh, one size fits most. <laughs> Uh, there's a wonderful card game called Doctor Who Flux, and not anything to do with the Flux episodes that just happened, but this is the game that's been out for a while. Uh, two to six players, card games for families, uh, has at least five to 30 minutes of gameplay. Um, if you really like to have a nice little uh, thing to, to display here, the uh, the Quartz Pocket Watch uh, with the t with the insignia on it from uh, Utopia, the the Time Lord watch and uh, all that. Uh, the pocket watch with necklace and gift box. Uh, you can also get a hundred pieces of Doctor Who sticker pack, waterproof vinyl stickers for water bottles, skateboard stickers, and laptops and whatnot. Uh, lots of great stuff uh, for that. Um, one of my favorite T-shirts, and I own two of these, is the. Uh, uh, the Abbey Road uh, t-shirt with the TARDIS, the Dalek, the Silence, the uh, the Mirror, and the Cyberman. It's really fun, and you can get that in all sizes. Um, take your lunch to work in style with the Police Public Call Box Lunch Bag. Uh, just to, you know, show off your Doctor Who thing there. Um, you can get a, a it's a A W O E O R S T Y Doctor Who signed print Doctor Who all 14 Doctors canvas painting uh, poster. Uh, it's uh, really kind of cool. You can get those there. Uh, another great t-shirt, knock knock, who's there? Doctor, Doctor Who, yes. <laughs> um, how about a, how about to keep those Target books on the shelf? You get a pair of, of uh, police box bookends. Um, they're uh, one pair, heavy metal, non-skid, and uh, great for that. Do you have the Doctor Who Tardis and Daleks Christmas scarf, the official BBC scarf. And, uh, of course, you can get a Doctor Who, lots of ornaments out there, but the Doctor Who Christmas Ornament 2022 has a TARDIS on it, and it's a, got a purple design on that with featuring all of the Doctor's images. It's really kind of cool. Um, of course, any car ride, uh, you know, put the, put the phones away and take out your Doctor Who Mad Libs. Uh, it's bigger on the inside edition. <laughs> it's a paperback book. You can get that. Your Doctor Who stainless steel water bottle will keep you hydrated, and uh, you should, I, I should get one of those. I really think that's cool. Uh, you can get the Doctor Who T41 stacking TARDIS teapot and cup set. Uh, your keep warm this winter with your Doctor Who TARDIS large throw blanket. It is a silk touch, not micro fleece. Um, the uh, 
you know, really cool thing for your kid's bedroom. The 3, 3D LED nightlight police box TARDIS touch remote lamp with 16 colors. Change, crea you know, create a you know, call box lamp and all that stuff. Um, the Doctor Who cosmetic bag. Don't leave home without your makeup, without your Doctor Who. Nevertheless, she regenerated. I love that. That's just absolutely brilliant. Um, and uh, next here on the list here, you can get, of course, uh, the official Doctor Who TARDIS cookie jar with light and sound effects activated by pushing lamp or closing the lid. A lot of fun to have in your office or your kitchen or your Doctor Who room. Good stuff. Uh, you can get a copy of the Doctor Who River Song Replica Journal. It's embossed fake leather, hardcover tar TARDIS library with 200 blank pages and a bookmark. Um, also, don't forget that uh, the 13th Doctor Journal is also published. The uh, Future is Not Written, hardcover diary notebook with bookmark. Lots of stuff there. Another uh, uh, item here, the Kurt Adler Doctor Who mini ornament gift set. Lots of ornaments. It's got an angel, a Dalek, and a Cyberman. Um, just, just some wonderful things there. Uh, stay warm, of course, with your Ripple Junction Doctor Who TARDIS call box uh, snow fleece with hood. You know, lots, you know, doc, the Doctor Who logo is on a lot of different things here. Uh, you've got uh, <laughs> uh, another cosmetic bag here. It says David Tennant is my doctor. Of course, he's currently the doctor. The official Doctor Who cookbook. This is the second edition of that cookbook. Uh, the 40 Wibbly Wobbly Timely Wimey Recipes in hardcover by Joanna Farrow. Uh, dot, not to be confused with the Gary Downey publication that uh, produced Toxic Gas. Uh, <laughs> lots of lots of items. You can get a four-piece ceramic mini glass with uh, images of Doctor Who comics on the side. Uh, the of course, my favorite is the Starbucks mug that says "Caffeinate, Caffeinate" with a Dalek on it. Gotta love that. Uh, you're you're definitely you know looking at things that have. Uh, of course, the uh, uh, for, with only twelve Doctors, the Doctor Who clock. Uh, which has the, it's a vinyl vinyl record wall clock with all with the with the first twelve doctors, um, lots of editions of that. Uh, you can get let's see the uh, you can you can uh, spice up your garage with a TARDIS parking only sign and uh, violators will probably die in this episode. You know it's like uh, welcome to Star Trek. Here's your red shirt. You don't have a future with us. So. Uh, <laughs> um, Let's see. Uh, more here. We've got, uh, I've got one of these in my Who room here. The TARDIS switchblade cover. Dr. E covers up your, your light switch with a police box. Um, also very nice. There is, um, let's see here. We've got, uh, of course, you know, keep your money and your credit cards safe in your Doctor Who distressed TARDIS bifold wallet. Gotta love that. Um, let's see. Oh, I've got one of these, too. The Doctor Who and the TARDIS and Daleks Christmas Sweater. The official BBC festive jumper by Lavarez. Lavarzi, excuse me. Um, they are, you can get those before Christmas. They're beautiful. I, I have one in my, in my closet. And it's warm, and it's a good quality sweater. So definitely get that. Um, lot, you know, like I said, there's so many, so many wonderful things that uh, you can get for your... Um, um, for your Doctor Who fan. You can get uh, the Cubicle 7 Dalek Dice Game from Doctor Who. That's uh, uh, not, a, not an expensive way to do that. Uh, in addition to, let's see, uh, uh, you know, the fourth Doctor ornament. Keep Tom Baker as your Doctor on your Christmas tree. And uh, we've got some pencils here. Doctor Who TARDIS colored inspirational pencils engraved with funny and motivational uh, sayings such as Madman with a Box, Wibbly Wobbly Timey Wimey, or Hold On and Pretend It's a Plan. That's my favorite one. I have a plan, but I haven't come up with it yet. <laughs> uh, so lots of lots of great gifts. You know, you can find it. Sometimes these things can be found at bookstores or at Hallmark centers if there's still any. And... Um, you can do that. You can get a vintage uh, Diamond Logo t-shirt, which is a, a reprint of the original. It's a little less money than the original went for, as a matter of fact. Um, the Doctor Who fleece throw blanket with all 13 Doctors on it. So you can sleep with all three 13 Doctors. I'll just leave it there. Um, 
the uh, lots of uh, lots of socks. Uh, you can get the uh, limited edition million dollar bills with the doctors on there. Uh, there's a Jody Whitaker ornament. Um, the Doctor Who canine ceramic mug. It's a really beautiful mug with canine on the front. Uh, the Doctor Who ceramic serving bowl. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Well, kind of moving down the list here. Keep calm. I am almost a doctor. That's... <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, and of course, don't forget, um, you know, your casual fan might also love to have um, Doctor Who uh, on DVD or Blu-ray and um, all the other things that, that works with with that, you know, um, the CDs, the audio annuals, Big Finish, BigFinish.com, a great place. You probably can't get those in time for Christmas, but, uh, it, you know, you can always... Um, let them have them sign up for a free Big Finish account uh, on the Big Finish app, and when you buy the CD, use their uh, email address, and you can gift that, and um, that way they can use the they can get the download from Big Finish, which is really nice. So there you go. Also, visit DoctorWhoStore.com, and uh, you can find some great Doctor Who items there. I want to thank Amazon.com for providing me a great list of Doctor Who items. Again, these links will be available in the description of the podcast. So after a brief break, uh, we'll come back with the most unbelievable offer. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Juliet. And I'm Nathan. Experience Doctor Who from the very beginning through a classic fan's eyes. And through the eyes of a new Who fan. Reminisce and relive those classic moments with Nathan as he offers fun insight. Or experience them for the first time with Juliet as she dwells on social issues, history, fashion, and the size of a flashlight. We're the Time Streams Podcast. Find us on Spotify, Stitcher, or Apple Podcasts. You're listening to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. Keep collecting. Hello, fellow time travelers, and welcome to the Doctor Who Target Book Club podcast, the only podcast to discuss, in story order, all the Doctor Who novelizations. My name is Tony Whit, and every two weeks or so, I'm joined by a two- to three-person discussion panel, including our so-called expert who's been a Who fan since 1979. That would be me. We also get the views of intermediate, casual, and novice fans who either have never seen the show or who have never read these books until these podcasts, including Dalton Hughes and Alison Fitzsafried. You can find us on iTunes, Stitchers, or wherever you find good podcasts, or even ones like ours. You're listening to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast on the Direction Point Podcast Network. Keep collecting! You are invited on an adventure across all of time and space, in a completely random order. It's the Police Box in the Junkyard podcast. Jump in the TARDIS with your hosts, Eric Gulbranson, Asad Cheshki, and Matthew Kressel. Explore Doctor Who TV stories, audio adventures, and books, both novels and non-fiction. The Police Box in the Junkyard podcast. It's the entire Hooniverse. On Shuffle. The Police Box in the Junkyard podcast is a member of the Direction Point Network and is available about once a month wherever you find your podcasts. You are listening to the Doctor Who Collectors podcast. Keep collecting. None of us know for sure what's out there. That's why we keep looking. Keep your faith. Travel hopefully. The universe will surprise you. Constantly. And now it's time for the most unbelievable offer. This offer was shared to me by a one of my good friends and a listener, Jonathan Ruffel, who told me that on A Books he secured a copy of Doctor Who and the Brain of Morbius in hardcover, the Wingate uh, edition with dust jacket, uh, I believe from 1976 or 77. It escapes me for the moment. But anyway, he said it was in amazing condition and he paid $4.30. So I'm like, how did I miss that? <laughs> All right. You know, that's why that's why I set up lists and I set up uh, Google alerts and things like that. So sometimes they fail me. 
but that's okay. I'm, I'm really happy it, it went to, to a good home. And uh, of course, you know, that means keep your eyes out there. You never know when you're going to come up with a great deal. So that is, of course, the most unbelievable offer. It is true. And I will, um, you know, I will defend him to the uh, to the end uh, for that. But th- that's absolutely it. The mo- you know, and sometimes uh, that's what we call the holiday miracle on the Doctor Who Collectors podcast. I want to thank um, all of uh, the people that made this podcast a success this past year. Um, of course, my guests for the year, which included Brian Wiga, uh, Sadie Miller. Uh, Tony Witt, Katie, May- Katie Haynes, Sylvia Elizabeth, uh, Lauren Cornelius, uh, David J. Howe. Uh, we had, uh, let's see here, going back over this. Uh, I think that's everybody that's been on the podcast this past year. So that's, uh, there we go. Oh, of course, Ken Van Mersbergen. I forgot my brother on the pinball the pinball uh, machines and all that. Um, so we, we had quite a few fun uh, episodes here, including, uh, you know, just some wonderful things that are about to happen. Now, in the new year, here's what's coming up in, uh, in late January. Uh, we will, of course, be talking with John Walsh about Doctor Who and the Daleks and the, and the official story of the film book. We'll be talking with uh, Lauren Cornelius again, who plays Dodo Chaplet on Big Finish. We'll be talking with Tim Traylor, who currently voices the third Doctor, and we'll be doing some Doctor Who uh, audiobooks in the future. He's a wonderful guy. We'll also be talking with Stephen Noonan, who's playing the first Doctor and is quite a resume of acting credentials as well as Doctor Who knowledge. Uh, so he's a very interesting man to talk to. We're also going to talk with Daisy Ashford. In addition to voicing Liz Shaw for Big Finish, she is the daughter of two Doctor Who stars, her mom being Carolyn John, the original Liz Shaw, and sadly no longer with us, and her father is Jeffrey Beavers, the master from the Keeper of Trocken. Uh, we're also going to have Tony Witt back on the program when we cover classic hardcovers years 1981 and 1982 uh, so far. So as the Target Book Club has just en- exited the Tom Baker era, uh, we'll be getting into those books as well. Um, I'm also going to have John Kolchak Pertwee. He's a collector. We'll have him on the program. And... Who knows what else uh, will pop up? Uh, you know, we're we're gonna always open, keep the microphone open for anybody who pops in or anybody who gets there. We will also, by the way, have Peter Purvis on the program when we work out the details there. So that wraps up the Doctor Who Collectors podcast for twenty. 20- 22. Um, and of course, I again, this has been a great year for Doctor Who. We're looking forward to the next episode of Doctor Who featuring David Tennant, you know, uh, Catherine Tate and Neil Patrick Harris. And of course, Shudi Gatwa taking the uh, taking the reins uh, as the 15th Doctor. So there you go. Uh, so I wish everybody the best of holiday seasons. And uh, don't forget to keep collecting. This is Lauren Cornelius and I play Dodo Chapler on Doctor Who for Big Finish. You're listening to the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. Keep collecting. Direction point. Direction point. A Doctor Who Podcast Network.